Hi, this is Sarah from Aligned with Sarah. This month we are talking about perception as our piece of wellness that I'm focusing on with my intentions and sharing my journey with you um, of what has come together for me to recognize some other area of peace uh, that I'm ready to heal or recognizing you know, a new path of my journey. And today I wanna talk about applying uh, that perception piece to recognizing when you are ready to start healing. And I'm, I'm offering that to you because it's been my journey. So I recognized this when I, I was like, oh yeah, you know what? I finally think I'm ready to heal this part of my body or this part of my experience. Um, so you've heard me say that rhythm um, of noticing and shifting and Recently, I've added, you know, putting in some sprinkles and lots of slices of listening in any of that. So you're listening, noticing, listening, shifting, listening again, maybe, um, or maybe some listening twice in a row before any more action happens um, moving forward. Um, I feel like those are, you know, the noticing and shifting are two very key points. And um, adding that listening is just like, Oh yeah, well, what am I doing with my noticing? <laughs> what am I doing with my shifting? Uh, so I feel like they've they've like evolved into these three pieces or two pieces with an extra layer. I don't know how to imagine them, but um, so thinking about an event that you think that you might be ready to heal from, and one key piece that I have found in my journey when I know that I'm ready to heal. It's when I stop focusing on what is not in my life anymore. I know that it's time where I'm really focused on right now. This is what I have. These are my resources versus this is what I used to have or this is what I want. This is not what's here. Um, and even, you know, this feels hard because I don't have the support. I don't have X, Y, or Z. And that's not coming up from a place that is centered. That's not coming up from a place that recognizes now, that recognizes where you are, where I would be right now. I'm not recognizing where I would be right now if I'm focusing on what I do not have. So that's noticing. Shifting is where some magic starts to happen. So once we notice where we are on that map of life, right, we can like look down on that and recognize, you know, we were hoping that we were going to be, you know, all the way over there in Northern California, but we're recognizing that we're in, you know, Maine, the state of Maine. Um, and once we know where we're at, then we can find our way from point A to point B. So noticing shifting. The first thing that needs to shift then, we notice, you know, we, we're noticing, okay, well, I'm going to focus on what I have now. The shifting comes into those words and those thoughts that we have of that person did this to me, or he or she made me feel this way. And that is our perception of the circumstances that happened. When we fast forward into this moment of now from the past here, thing of this thing happened, he or she made me feel this way or um, took this away from me or um, uh, I think I said made me feel this way. I'm not sure. But um, when, we, when we boil it down to the fact that, wow, I, I was feeling this way. I was feeling this way because I had this experience. Right now, I'm still feeling this. So obviously, it's rattling around inside of me somewhere. Um, the concepts of the emotion code and the body code and even Chinese medicine recognize that organs of the body resonate with certain emotions. So it's very common to feel these things in a certain place or to feel a certain emotion. The organ or the organ system that helps govern that or resonates with that, that emotion, everything is a frequency, a sound frequency, will also start to be compromised, overworking, underworking, not having the chi or the nourishment, the energy that it needs because it's resonating too much. It's being overstimulated or understimulated because of this emotion. 
I got a whining dog here. I don't know what's wrong. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that's the noticing part. That's the shifting part. And then this really major piece of this listening to accountability, like adding those slices and sprinkles all over the place of accountability, listening to that accountability and understanding this is my story. I'm noticing this pattern. I'm noticing this feeling comes up all the time. I'm noticing that this feeling is still here, you know, 10, 15 years later. I'm noticing that it's still here. I'm noticing these things that remind me of this event from 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, a lifetime ago. It's reminding me of this, this emotion that is kind of like in cue all the time. That is the sign that there's this trapped emotion. It's a sign that it's time to heal. So when you can notice those things, when you can start to feel like you can shift those things, and then you can listen to it in this voice and this um, this feeling from the heart of accountability. How can what can I learn from this? What has this taught me? What has this taught me as far as where I need to heal from? What has been waiting to heal? And finally, now has my attention, so it can quiet. Right? I'm I'm. I love comparing that subconscious mind and those trapped emotions as like a two-year, two-year-old or a three-year-old trying to get your attention. When eyes get on that two or three-year-old, and it's just really just like, yeah, honey, what do you want? Everything calms, right? Everything changes when, you know, it's not like we're telling it to wait one more minute or, you know, just be quiet for just a moment here. You know, I'm really busy doing this thing. Uh, when we take our our attention and look at these places, we can recognize how much that has been talking to us as a place that it needs to heal. So that's a critical part of understanding and recognizing when and where and how your body is ready to heal. And again, this is my job. I absolutely love it. Working with people to release these trapped emotions or to re or just align systems because they're off because of trapped emotions or, um, emotional baggage, clearing that away. It's like that, that famous expression about sculpting where you like, you take away all the things that are not Sarah, <laughs> right? Those trapped emotions are not Sarah. So when we, when I work on myself or when I have work done on me, um, they're taking away the things that are not me. So I can shine brighter. I can be more aligned. I can be myself and arrive wholly as myself not with all of this extra stuff in the way of myself. So um, as always, thank you so much for being here. As always, please leave a comment. Please reach out to me. I love getting messages. And um, it was great to see some comments with this last video last week-ish. I think last week, last weekend. Um, that was super wonderful. Thank you so much for that. And of course, if there's anything that you feel like is rattling inside, you reach out to me and we can set up a time to work together um, and make sure that you are showing up in this place of healing, in this place of wholeness, um, where you're really optimized in your environment to heal and optimized in your environment to uh, put yourself out there into this beautiful world and make it more beautiful. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's enough. Uh, I will get going and see what my dog needs. And I will talk to you again really soon.